Hello, this is Ros Lewis from MASH.ie. You're very welcome to episode four of MASH Lockdown. There's a hashtag for that, as you know. And yeah, you're just very welcome. Today, we are gonna speak about a thing that teachers love. Again, it is an activity slash methodology that we use for all sorts of subjects. It's called station teaching. Um, and the title of this episode, which was given to me from my um, team, i.e. me, is Stations of the Kitchen Table. So there you go, it's a, it, it could catch on, that title could catch on. Um, stations of the Kitchen Table. So when you're teaching at home or you're homeschooling your child, um, it is pressurizing, even I find that, and I'm a teacher for a long time. And um, when you're with your own child, it's different. Your own child does and says, mostly they do really do whatever the teacher says or does you know um, whereas when a mommy or daddy is telling a child to do something they don't want to do it and my child Emrys is no different so it is pressurizing we normally we're homeschooling at the minute for about an hour to an hour and a half every morning that is it the rest of the time is free play a little bit of screen time reading just messing about playing with his toys so for that hour and a half is intense i find it intense because it's with him and it's your child it's not just a student um in your class so it is different so what we have decided to do is every second day is we're going to do station teaching and then kind of a one-to-one -one teaching like me and Emrys or Simon and Emrys. So station teaching, you're still in the room, but you're setting up little stations. We set little stations up around the kitchen table. So I think we have um, it's eight chairs, um, 10 actually, sorry, 10 chairs around the kitchen table. So we had a number of stations at each chair and they spend either a time limit, you can put a time limit on stations, they can spend three minutes, set a timer at the station, depending on what the activity is, or you could actually say, complete the task at the station. So they can be task orientated or time bound, whichever one you want to do. And um, so the first thing we did was, we did um, Lego, sorting Lego. Now, most people have some form of Lego or blocks or colorful toys at home with three different bowls, plastic bowls in the cupboard, and he was sorting them according to color, size, some of the Lego, the two blocks, four blocks, six blocks, flat Lego, like they would do loads of sorting activities, particularly very, very useful for junior, senior members and maybe a bit of first class children. And um, the second station he did was just free painting or coloring, whichever you want it to be. You can use a template that you've printed out if you have a printer at home or just a piece of paper and they can print, they can paint something depending on the theme of the day. So it could be St. Patrick's Day, it could be Easter, it could be Mother's Day. Um, and you could actually leave that time bound five minutes or you could just leave it and see until the child kind of gets bored of it or finishes. The third station we had was play a tune. So if you have a tin whistle or a, a keyboard, we have a very, very cheap keyboard in the house. So we wrote out the notes um, to happy birthday and we left five minute timer on that until he had played the tune. So he actually did, he found it hard to begin with, but he enjoyed it then by the end of it, he had learned a little song. The fourth one then is a familiar reading. This is used a lot in um, Irish primary school classrooms particularly in this, this um, station teaching called Literacy Liftoff. One of the stations there would always be familiar reading and then another station would be new reading. So station at home, I give them familiar reading. I spoke about that in one of my other episodes about instructional levels of reading and independent reading and you want to make sure the child is reading something that's familiar and they're gonna get success, particularly when you're at home. You don't want them getting upset that they can't get the words. So we left out a familiar reading book and the tricky words, I also made a link to that on jollylearning.co.uk UK, print them out, write them out on a piece of paper in capital letters, in lowercase, whatever you want to do. And they read, once they read the 10 tricky words, you give them a tick for each or a happy face. Once they read their familiar reading, they move to the next station. And um, we noticed that Emrys needs a little help with the magic E word. So the magic E is something like like. So when you see an E at the end of the word, the vowel says its name. So um, I becomes like, otherwise it'd be L-I-K, it would be lick. So you're teaching children that from junior infants, senior infants, first class onwards. And we had a little dice game and I will give the link to where we got all those little resources from. You can easily make your own. And if you have a dice at home, great. Um, and then we just give him a plain, not too fancy maths worksheet. We have many good maths worksheets on mat.ie, our website where you can download them for free or some of them are pay as well. Um, so that is it. That is really um, all the stations that we used. It particularly suited for junior infants. Now you'd have to adapt them according to your own child. I'm sure you've seen the work that they've been doing in school. They'll tell you as well. Station teaching is really, really good. It's a good break from this one-to-one -one pressure because the children can work independently and the children love it because it's like a game. It's time-based and it's different from just sitting there and um, listening to their parents all the time. Okay, those are my little um, my tips for station teaching and things that you can do if you're homeschooling or during a lockdown. Please follow our hashtag, mash lockdown, and go and find us 
on Instagram, find us on YouTube, mash.ie and please we'd love to hear your comments and we would love to hear what you have to say anything you've been trying at home things that are useful in terms of homeschooling that would be great okay stay safe talk to you later